How is it going everybody? You're watching Denabal Tech and today I'm going to teach you how you can get a refund for any App Store or iTunes Store purchases you may have done. So let's say for example you bought an app, you paid for an app or even a subscription service for example or even a movie or a song here and then you just regret it, you don't want that anymore, you can actually get a refund. This is super super cool. So let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually open up the App Store and I'm actually gonna buy an application. I'm gonna do this with you step by step because as you know, I do everything 100% transparently, right? So I'm gonna buy this application and of course later, I'm gonna request that refund. Everything in front of you and with no gimmicks or anything like that, okay? So let's just uh, double click, face ID, buy it, and then uh, it's bought, okay, it's done. Um, just make sure that it starts downloading uh, if it does okay it's right here waiting uh, I believe this app is quite big it's quite large so it's gonna take a second so just make sure that this application actually downloads and installs on the iPhone okay so as you can see the app has finished downloading and installing so then it's working and normally so again let's say I played it and I just didn't like it okay uh, I didn't like the app I just regret it or maybe I just bought it unintentionally it happens uh, what you have to do is actually go to Safari we're actually gonna need to do that with the browser keep in mind that this also works with iPhone and iPad It's not iPhone exclusive okay but we also we always need to go ahead and actually use the browser for this okay and then we're gonna need to go to the website called report a problem .apple.com. so report a problem .apple .com. I'm gonna have a link in the description and on the screen right now as well I was previously lo uh, logged in so then it's gonna say access denied I'm gonna click here just to reload and then it's gonna reload and ask for my Apple ID okay uh, in your situation if it's the first case you're gonna open that screen right away okay so continue then you can authenticate with your face with your uh, finger fingerprint or even type username and password okay in here is where the magic happens so report a problem after you sign in you're gonna see the list of all the purchases you have done on your Apple ID and that's gonna include even free apps subscription plans uh, anything you bought from the iTunes store as I mentioned so absolutely everything and you may be asking okay but why isn't Badland here on the list because unfortunately it's still pending as you guys can see it I have paid for it but it's still pending because it takes sometimes a few hours or a few days before Apple can process the payment so unfortunately I'm gonna be need to showing you with a different application so if we scroll down a little bit we can see that subscription plan right here which is paid as you guys can see uh, so then all you have to do is actually report okay tap on report and you're gonna see choose problem so you tap here on choose problem and then that's the option you're gonna need to get I'd like to request request a refund click done you're gonna need to, to describe the problem this is a kind of a manual thing okay so you're gonna say okay I, unfortunately I bought it I didn't I didn't mean to it was a problem I regret it or I didn't like it whatever you're gonna type your problem right here the way you want it and then after that you're gonna tap on submit as you guys can see you need to type before you click on submit I'm not gonna submit this of course because I want to have my subscription on Freelytics but that's the idea and that's it after you do this Apple is gonna ask you to from three to five business day days to actually analyze this request that you're doing and actually reply back to you if you are eligible for the request but from my experience they pretty much always give you the, the refund okay uh, they never have a big problem with this so then that's how you actually can uh, get a refund from pretty much anything you buy on the App Store or on iTunes Store and that's how you do it using the report a problem platform so that's pretty much it hope you like it hope it could help you out on this a lot of people were requesting this hope it could help you and as always stay tuned and i'll see you guys in a few days bye bye stay safe guys